Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. So let's do Mount Doom, or whatever the hell it's actually called. It's Mount Battle or something, isn't it? And I think there's ten battles on this place, and we've done four of them. Wait, three of them. Three of them? We've done four of them. So we've made it nearly halfway. And then the final place, or the final person we fight, is a boss, Techmit. I don't really think they class as bosses in this game, but yeah, it's someone that has a shadow Pokemon and it's a very, very good shadow Pokemon that you will really, really want to catch. Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves. But prepare for a thrashing. I never miss my... I never miss targets once I get them in my sights. Alright. Okay, Miss Hunter. Show me what you got. Hit me with your best shot. A trap inch and a lily. Oh god, I've eaten way too much today. But uh, you know when you just you just eat a little bit too much and then you feel incredibly bloated. Oh, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> it's not a good feeling. Oh dear, side beam, trap inch. You would die. And I'm gonna make it even worse by drinking milkshake. But milkshake is so nice. Hmm. Oh man. It really is nice. Although I think the bottom of this milkshake is like where all the powder. Or maybe maybe not powder. But it's like where all the flavour of the milkshake is. So I have to shake it constantly for it to actually for the flavour to shift all around the drink, not just sit at the bottom. That's like um, in tea or coffee, if you don't stir it properly, all the sugar just remains at the bottom. And that is awful once you get to the end of the cup. Because <laughs> you'll have like a bit of coffee for most of it, and then at the end of it, it will just be complete sugar. So, an overload of sweetness. Hey, a barbooch. Faint attack, lily. Side them on the barbooch. Oh god. The animation for some of these is great. How close are we? Ooh! We're not far from a level up. Well, on Espeon at least. Another trap inch? Why? That's one thing. Okay, in, in Pokemon that I've never really understood. I'm pretty sure I've gone over this once before. Um. I'm almost certain I've already said or gone over this rant. It's not really a rant, it's just something to talk about before in a session, but I, I, just, I just do not understand what the point in having duplicate Pokemon is. Unless the only kind of like exclusions I could po possibly think of is if you've got... Oh crap, I need to think of a Pokemon on the top, off of, the top of my head. Um... Hmm. The only reason I could see having a duplicate Pokemon would be if it had multiple evolutions. So like, I know Ralts does. There's, well not Ralts, it's technically Curlier. Oh god. Right, once my burps have subsided. Oh god, that was awful. Right, I think I'm good. Yeah, I think Ralts would be one. However, that was only introduced in Diamond and Pearl, I think. But in, in that, Ralts could turn into Curlia, and then Curlia could turn into either Gardevoir or Gallade, I think. And like, what I mean is, I could uh, I could understand having duplicates for those situations, but for having a Trap Inch which turns into Vibrava and then Flygon, I don't understand it. If it's only got a set amount, or a set evolution path, then I don't really understand them. The next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. Alright. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just do not understand it. It's probably something that I just don't understand. Like, I literally don't understand it. Maybe it's a competitive thing. I have no fucking clue. I ain't very educated on Pokemon, aside from how it plays. Aside from that, I don't really know the tactics behind Pokemon. I know it's become an incredibly, not competitive game, but a lot of people play it now and have to get like the absolute perfect 
perfectly bred Pokemon. It's really strange what it's become. Hello, hello, hello! If you want to get by me, you have to watch my performance. Okay, let the show begin. But I will admit, Pokemon nowadays, I'm not really a fan of. Like, the Alpha... I, I don't remember where, where they were introduced. I think it was X and Y, where... Um... I'm pretty sure it was in X and Y where the game... It, it became, like, Pokemon merged with Digimon because you had the Pokemon and their Mega Evolutions. And to me, that was just like, what the fuck has happened to this game? It didn't make me hate it, but I, I didn't play Pokemon then anyway, because I didn't have a 3DS. The last one I played was Black and White. I think. The last, the latest one. Yeah, and that was a lot of years ago. Black and White was a good game. Yeah, I liked it a lot. But I, uh, I just did not understand that Mega Evolution. I'm just like, what has happened to the game? <laughs> it was like my reaction to seeing some of the Pokemon getting a third evolution in Diamond and Pearl when they'd have when they'd only had two evolutions throughout the entire course of Pokemon history up until that point. To me, it was just like, oh crap! Hang on, I almost did that fucking wrong. Woo! Boom. Like, uh, Rhyhorn, or Rhydon, t had a third evolution, I can't remember what they were called. Magmar did, uh, Electabuzz did. Then again, Electabuzz didn't have Elekid until Gold and Silver, so I suppose that one's not so shocking. And Magmar, pretty sure the same case, actually. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Magmar did have the same case. I'm pretty sure it was Magmar in the, in the original game, and then that Magmi was introduced in Gold and Silver. I don't know. It's kind of hard to like think of this stuff when it comes to Pokemon because of like the sheer amount of the fucking things there are now. Like the amount of Pokemon that are around nowadays, it's so stupid. It makes it makes the motto of Pokemon, the original motto, I don't know if it's changed, of gotta catch them all. Literally the most impossible task. It possibly could be. Like with the 151 Pokemon, gotta catch them all was actually kind of doable. Now you've got probably thousands of Pokemon that could be captured and it's just like, yeah, gotta catch them all. Maybe you'll capture a tenth of them, if you're lucky. All six were defeated? Sheesh, what were those incompetents doing? This is where the book stops. What the hell is a book? Where the, the isn't a book a deer? Like a male deer? Or am I thinking of something else? Maybe a buck actually is a kind of animal. I don't know. I ain't that smart. But I think the point where Pokemon became... Not too much, but when the Gotta Catch Em All motto went through the door... Or through the window... I'd probably say it would be either Ruby and Sapphire or Diamond and Pearl. Between one of them. Between the two. Because Ruby and Sapphire, that's when we ended up going into like the 400s of Pokemon, I think. And then, well yeah, Diamond and Pearl, we went into the 5 to 600. It, it was a lot. There's a lot of Pokemon. There's too many. <laughs> it's all good fun. Oh dear. Regardless of that, Pokemon will always remain to be one of the best turn-based games, or turn-based RPGs. Without a doubt. And it's weird, because I know a lot of people that love, absolutely love the Pokemon series, but absolutely hate any other turn-based game. Or any other turn-based RPG. And it's really, really weird. In my eyes. Because they love Pokemon. So why wouldn't they like anything else that's turn-based? Or why wouldn't they like another turn-based RPG? It's the same principle. You have moves that do very well. You have other moves that don't do so well. So we use the moves that do well against the enemy you're facing. Either, either way. 
You made me lose. They're not going to hire me again after this. Aw, oh, poor you. Poor Weeg. Who are you? I guess we're all a little guilty of underestimating you. You've earned some respect. But I'll make you regret ever having come here. Oh, well, aren't you? Aren't you the sweetest? K Keith, Keith on. What the fuck are these names? Weeg. T Tellia. Kaison. They have the stupidest names. Did the people behind this game just go onto like a random name generator and just click? Like, oh, that'll do for a character. Don't have to make sense. It's like, what the fuck? Um, can I use that on Duskull? Okay, I can. Phew! I do really like the soundtrack for this game though. I'd say it's probably the better, the best soundtrack, in my opinion. It's really good. But I love guitars. Like, in any soundtrack, I love guitars. So that probably makes my thing a bit biased. Is that gonna be on Espeon? Oh ho, you're an asshole. I guess I can use Psychic. Douche. I don't wanna use my Psychic though. That'll uh, be fine. Ow. I think my shoulder just clicked from yawning. That's a first. <laughs> what the heck? Ooh. I think once we're done with Mount Battle, we unlock the, the feature to unlock... <laughs> we unlock the thing to unlock... That's Curlia. Rotz's evolution that can turn into God of War or... Or... Or Gallade. In order for it to be a Gallade, it needs to be a male, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it is. And then God of All becomes female exclusive, maybe. Either that or to make Gallade, you have to have a male Rolt, uh, a male Curlia, and then use some sort of stone on it. I don't remember. I don't remember trying to get a Gallade, because I was like, oh my god, he looks cool. So I'm pretty sure I've still got the, po the Pokemon Platinum uh, guide somewhere around here. Probably under my bed, to be honest. Although I say it's... I shouldn't do that. Uh, do that. Although I say it's a guide, I don't use guides for Pokemon. Like, I only used the guide for one thing and one thing only, and that was to look at the back of it where it listed every Pokemon. I don't know if it listed their stats or if it just listed the Pokemon. It was one or the other. I don't honestly remember. But yeah, that's the only thing I used that guide for. And there we go, Curly is dead. Sorry if I got a little quieter then. I had to itch my frickin' sideburns. God damn, what the hell is happening with these wires? Baba! We did it! It isn't right, I shouldn't lose! Aw, life's just not fair. What the hell is happening with her hair? It's like flapping in the wind like a cape. I shouldn't have battled you in the first place. Yeah, well, you learn. Yeah, there's the person we faced. There's the big bad boss. You've done well to get here, but there's no next battle for you after this. I'll destroy you thoroughly. Yeah, I like to see you try with your duo geo dudes. Duo dudes. That's what they should call them. Oh. I remember for the longest time, geo dude was my favorite Pokemon ever. No idea why. I was just like, oh my god, he looks cool. That was why the first Pokemon game I ever owned was Pokemon Yellow. Um, and Geodude in that looks fucking badass. He's like a big rock, and he's I'm pretty sure he's got like a fist out as a, like, I'm gonna punch you sort of thing. And it looks really cool. And then in, I think I went back and played Blue or Red, one or the other. And I was like, what the hell is Geo, dude? Because in those, he looks really stupid. Like, really stupid. <laughs> it it looks like... The way they modelled him, he's like, flexing with one arm, I think. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm not too sure. I could search, but I won't. Because it'll just bring up Bulbapedia stuff, and that won't be helpful for anybody. But yeah, from what I remember, he was just like a ball. On Pokemon Yellow, he, he was a badass-looking rock, 
and I'm pretty sure it looked like it was about to punch you. I could be thinking of these completely wrong. But then in Pokemon Blue and, and Blue and Red, they might have had different sprites for those games, but I don't know. Either way, 